Oh my God, Matawi. Bitch, if you don't know, it's because my hair is very curly. I have an afro, so I always wear it froed out. And then I put it in the wigs for the shows. But bitch, <sighs> she's free. She's melanated. Oh my God. <sighs> Naomi Campbell. Tyra Banks. Bitch. Alec Weck. Bitch. Oh! God! Nigga, I almost sound like James Brown. Oh! I feel good. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. Back, 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 back. All right, what y'all gonna do? Y'all gonna sing? Smize? Okay, hold on, I'm a smize. I'm a smize. Hold on, bitch, let me get my hair right, though, bitch. Before I hit you with this motherfucking smize. All right. This is, so this is what Tyra would do on the show. She'd be like, okay, so this is just regular? Smize. Smiling? Smizing. Not a photo? Photo. I'd be like, it's just because you got green eyes. But then I started doing it. And I was like, I'm smizing. Hold on, let me show you. Here's eyesing, smizing. My mouth didn't change. Look. No. I'm silly. Bitch, I'm silly. Shut the fuck up. I'm having a good day. I've been very grateful lately. Been fucking so grateful. Like, shit has been really stressing me out and trying to bring me down. So I'm realizing the opposite of that is just being grateful. And I'm just, and now that I realize how grateful I am for everything, I'm glowing on the inside. Okay. More shout outs. What's up? <clears throat> I love it when you call me senorita Every time we ooh la 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 Ooh la 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 Guys, I want more shout outs and I don't see any Nail color I should give, bitch Okay, let's think about it Because, you know, I clearly I'm all over the place But it depends, like I like to go for a classic red <clears throat> if I'm really genuinely confused about what I'm going through in life. But lately, I've kind of been off of, like, nail colors, and I've been more on, like, oh, wait, can you shout out my names? Elise Jade. Hi, Elise Jade. That's the nails. Um, and also, to the person who said, you know, you can beat Senorita, for me, let me just explain this music industry shit and these these real quick for me i don't want to say it's not a competition but i don't believe in competition between other artists i believe in competition in other ways like i'm very competitive with myself i like outdoing myself i like breaking my own records you know what i'm saying so sometimes i like to i i'm a leo rising so I can be very competitive in that way where I'm just like, shit, bro. Like you did this last time. Well, now see if you can do that. You sold this out. Can you sell that out? You, you know what I mean? Things like that. Like you ran a mile. Now can you run two miles? You know, this has been a minute since I did it. I've been working out. Um, so with this whole thing, especially in the category that I'm in, like I have the number one song. I'm not the number one rapper singer i don't have the number one album i don't have the number one live show i just have the number one song right now so when i think of things as in songs truth hurts is doing what it's gonna do it's already been written whatever my song is supposed to do is what my song does it has nothing to do with me as a person it has nothing to do with the other artists as people we're all just creating art 
and we're all just good at it and we're all appreciated by a lot of people and for that i already broke my own record i already won you know so that's how i think i, I view things just so fucking differently you know and i don't let a lot of shit get to me i let the weirdest most random shit get to me it's not this type of shit not this regular shit that people think is gonna hurt my feelings or whatever like bitch I've been big my whole life and I grew up in the South. <sighs> There's very little you can say to hurt my feelings, bitch. At this point, I've heard it all. So find something new, bitch. Read a dictionary and get back to me when you got something good. Um, Hi, Kalissa. Hi, Miss April. I can see your comment. Shut up. <laughs> Who said it's been Rick that you gonna give me free tickets? Okay. Maybe I will. Maybe I will give out some free tickets. Because I can. I'm on live. I have a guest list that I haven't filled. So, oh, I should do a talent show. You know, I used to do talent shows on my live, but just with instruments. So, I would come on with Sasha, and I would play the flute, and then I would bring people in who had instruments and let them play. Um, maybe I'll bring that shit back now that I got more people watching. But anyway... Maybe I will give out some, some tickets. I will, I'll give out two tickets to my show tomorrow. Where am I going to be? St. Louis? No, 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 no. No, no, no. I'm in Louisville. Um, all right. I'm going to give out two tickets. I'm going to give out one. I'm going to give out two tickets to one person so they can bring their friend to my show tomorrow. <laughs> you have to live in Louisville. You can't, because if, if you don't live there and then you win the tickets and then you can't use them, somebody who's actually in Louisville could have got them. All right. Listen, boo, I know I'm, I can't remember what city I'm in ever no more. So um, thanks for thinking that means I'm popping because, bitch, I'm definitely hopping. What's your morning routine to stay so confident? Um, you know, I don't have like a morning routine yet in place in my life. Like I feel like I have like a, um, I have like a, a routine set up for when I'm lack, when I feel like I'm lack. I don't like wake up and go, okay, I need to do this every morning to have confidence. But like, I'll wake up and be like, if I'm not feeling confident that day, I will go out of my way to like seek, like, I will seek different ways to bring my confidence back. So for instance, if I am looking at my face and I'm like, oh God, I don't look good to myself today. Like, why? Why don't I look good to myself? Like, it has to be psychological because I probably looked good to myself the day before. So first I need to do some things that just bring my body back to square one, drink water, breathe deep, eat some food, wash my face, put a little moisturizer on, and then forget any negative thoughts I had about my face that morning and just try to get back to where I was and get back to where I'm going, you know? And then once I handle those basics, sometimes I look and I'm like, oh, wow, you just need a little bit of hydration or you just need a little bit of meditation or you just need to think about something else. And then you come back to yourself and you're like, damn, I'm fine, you know? Um, but I always take it back to basics for confidence. Um, talking to yourself, drinking water, meditating, deep, deep breathing. I'm telling you, deep breathing. Just think about how you breathe every day. First off, we have to breathe every day. Second of all, when I'm breathing, like sometimes I'll hold my breath while I'm talking and I don't even get the breath that I'm supposed to get. So imagine how much more your brain would appreciate just a little bit more oxygen. It's just chill and be like, <sighs> your brain is like, yes, I'm getting more fucking food and I'm expanding and I'm circulating, bitch. 
Your brain will thank you for breathing. Um, anyway, can you shout me out? I'm the only plus size DJ killing it in Atlanta right now. What's up, queen of the turntables? We need some more plus size DJs. Where my big bitches at spinning the ones and motherfucking tits? Lizzo, sing La Cucaracha, please. I don't know the words. What's wrong with y'all? I don't know the words for La Cucaracha. Hi, Clifford. Can you shout me out? Yes, Clifford Zantus. Tanae Campbell, shouting you out. What's up, YK Dark Skin J? Hi, Liz. I play flute too. I just turned 133,333,333,333. Billion, 333. <laughs> Even with all your success, do you still get sad? Yes. Sometimes the success triggers my sadness. And I get resentful of Success because it brings certain other symptoms like fame and or side effects, I guess, like fame and um, people in my fucking business and the loss of freedom. Like my success has brought some of those things, too. And I get really resentful of it. But um, oh my titty. I'm sitting all crooked. But um, I definitely... I'm grateful for success because I've always wanted to be a success. I've, I felt like a successful musician for a long time, but now I'm like truly on my way to like hitting my goals. Like my dream is to play Madison Square Garden and to like play headline sold out Red Rocks. And <clears throat> I'm living those dreams. And, you know, so I'm so grateful that I'm living my dreams. And if it comes with a little bit of anxiety and, um, loss of freedom in certain areas and more magnifying glasses on me than fucking fine because I get to create this music that is impactful in a positive way and that's like literally all I've ever wanted to do success does not always mean happiness that's true period What song do you use to warm up your voice? Mr. Daniel Wallace. You know, lately I've been doing, we lift our hands in the sanctuary. We lift our hands to give you the glory. We lift our hands to give you the praise. And we will praise you for the rest of our days. Yes, we will praise you for the rest of our days. And sometimes I'll be like, Brrr. what's up, Alana and Nevaeh? What's up, Anya Pace? Was it Anya Pace? Do you speak Spanish? Um, si, yo hablo español poquito. Actually, I speak better Spanish than that, but sometimes I get nervous because I haven't practiced in a while. Have I, have I listened to Taylor Swift's album? Um... I have not gotten the chance to listen to the full album, but I have listened to a bunch of tracks off of Lover, and I really loved The Archer. I thought it was really smart, too, because isn't she a Sagittarius? I thought the lyrics were just really smart, and the production was really beautiful. Mm -hmm. I know it's not that long, but I've been listening to your music since summer 2018. Love your music. Thank you so much. I can say hello in a lot of languages. I can say Hola, guten tag, konnichiwa, jumbo. Um, ni hao. Um, bonjour, bonjourno. Oh, bonjour and bonjourno. Um, Girl, you know. How do you like thank you next, bitch? <laughs> do you know me? That's all I fucking listened to for like 
two months straight. I love needy. I can be needy. Tell me how good it is. Oi, Lizzo, aqui é Brasil. I know I want to go to Brazil so bad. Shout out birthday twin. Can I say truth hurts in another language? Um, in Spanish, would it be? Um, La verdad duele. <laughs> duele, de, duele de verdad. Que duele la verdad. Somebody tell me how to say tr truth hurts. <laughs> La verdad duele. <laughs> Hi, Peter. This is me shouting you out, Peter. <sighs> La verdad duele. I love everybody in this comfort. <laughs> this fun, y'all. Hi, wild floors. I'm calling you out. I'm calling you out. Calling you out, bitch. Please say hi to Ella. Hey, Ella. Yes, this natural look, bitch. That's why I'm on live in the first place. I was in my cell. I put on some mascara. At the... And just decided to say yes. I decided to say yes. Sick of saying no. Guys, listen. If you have a cute cousin that wants to get spoiled by a bad bitch, send all photos to my DMs. It's cuffing season. Wait, who am I? Who am I giving free tickets to? I just remembered. I forgot, bitch. <laughs> My cousin got a cute cousin, it's me. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch, that was slick. Okay, send Curly Ash some pics too. Cause we all, I'm a thick bitch. It's winter, it's about to be winter. Okay, I don't have all of this stuff in for nothing. Somebody to curl up with, watch Netflix and chill. Who the fuck am I giving free tickets to? You know what? Maybe I'll just give free tickets to a person on here. Ah, oh, fuck, this is hard. I don't know if I can do this. How do I give out free tickets? <sighs> oh! Mm. I don't know what to do. Do I tell you guys to just like, should I do a talent show for it? Should I do it on the next live? That's what I'll do. Cause now I'm, I don't know what to do, Natalie, because it's free tickets to my fucking show tomorrow, but I don't know who really lived there. I don't know how to get them their tickets. I spoke before, I spoke before I thought, okay? And I'm in over my head. <laughs> I don't know who lives in Louisville, Kentucky. Who really can show up to the show who don't gotta go to work or nothing like that and i gotta get information to my tour manager it's just it's starting to stress me out i'm starting to sweat make it a contest or something okay gad p are you really from louisville will you really come oh my god what are you gonna be for halloween oh my god bitch you know what you know what's so stupid that I thought about doing? It's not even stupid because it's my own song, so I would I would feel. But I was thinking about being a DNA test and having 100% that bitch <laughs> as the results. Is that a silly costume?
Is Ari Lennox in here? I'll go live with her. Where's she at? We haven't even met yet, and we've been on tour for like a month. It's because her schedule and my schedule just been like. <laughs> she met the rest of my crew though. She's she's and she's the sweetest, and I can't wait to meet her. But I started sweating when I fucking thought about doing the giveaway. I get so nervous. Hey, Nisi. Hey, Patience. Hi, Kennedy and Cassidy. <sighs> All right, y'all gonna be mad at me because I'm not giving out tickets no more. I got too nervous. <laughs> no, that's a fucked up thing to do. I'm giving out tickets. Okay, okay, okay. All right, cool. Listen, here we go. Black, white, ebony. All sound good to me. All right, if you are from Louisville, Kentucky, if you live in Louisville, Kentucky, and you will be able to attend my show tomorrow and you don't have tickets. Hello? Bitch, I'm scared. Anyway, if you live in Louisville, Kentucky, and you do not have tickets to my show and you want to come to my show, you have a chance to win a two tickets so you can bring your homie or your loved one or your whatever to the fucking show now here's how the rules are gonna go i'm gonna bring you in <clears throat> you gotta request me just put in oh type out hashtag stream truth hurts type out hashtag stream truth hurts if you want to win tickets to the louisville show and you can make it so when you do that i'm gonna and then also request to be in live with me. I'm going to look for you in my live. And the first person that I can find in my live who said, hashtag stream truth hurts, I will bring into live and you will win tickets. I will get your full name and I will put you on the list right here, right fucking now. You ready? Hashtag stream. Okay, I see y'all. I see y'all. I see you. Oh, shit. Bro. Y'all not request. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. There's so many of you. Okay, okay. All right, Miss Felicity, where you at? Miss Felicity. Wandering, oh shit! I can't find y'all, man. I'm trying to get y'all, trying to get y'all some fucking tickets. Oh god, this is really hard. Wait, tell Ari Linux to come into to come into my live. How do I how do I bring her in the live? Oh, this is so hard, y'all. I can't find none of y'all motherfuckers in my... Miss Maya Amari. I'm seeing y'all, but I'm not seeing y'all requested in my live. Oh, I can type you. <laughs> Duh, silly. Oh, wait. Can I? Oh, my God. This is not working. Bitch. Guys, this is <sighs> Bitch, I can't find none of y'all, huh? God. <clears throat> the, the underscore. Here we go. Bow. What the fuck? Why isn't it letting me request them?
Yo, I'm trying to request you to go live, and this shit is just not working, bro. Where's Ari? Oh, guys, this isn't working. This is, I don't know how to fucking work this shit, bro. I hate it. <laughs> I don't know how to bring people who, um... So what songs are we going to do?